seconds left. Have the glass. What is it? Keep those out. Ah, able to find one and axe run with the next three down. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Midwest R6. Tonight we have a great game scheduled for you guys between MU Redhawks and SIUE White, the top and bottom competitors of, of their respective division. With me um, today is my co caster, La Crow. I say your name right? Yep. Alrighty. I'm Osilas. How are you guys doing today? Good, good, good. Alrighty. Moving on to the stats of uh, of the respective teams themselves. We have three to zero and zero to three. MU Redhawks looking like the uh, looking like the winners here. As the W. You got some chatting going on in the uh, in the lobby right now. MU looks like they have it in the bag. SIU obviously the underdogs here, but they could very well take the game. Alrighty, moving on to uh, the Division 2 stats here. We got MU Red taking all three of their games with a plus 13 to win. Sui with a minus 28 to their score. Teams are pretty far apart in the divisions. Why don't you take us through the stats here? The MU Red Hawks. The Crow. This, uh, the stats are uh, pretty spread out here. Um, the cow goes that MU is the MVP. Um, the KDs are pretty well aligned, I'd say. And um, it looks like a pretty solid team from what I can see. Alrighty, the MVP being the cow goes moo, as said before. Very, very good show here for uh, the SPR being 89.28, our uh, Midwest R6 custom stats. Team 2 roster, let's take a look. Now, don't underestimate these guys. Their stats might not be that, that good, but I'm expecting a pretty good show here for the day, for the day because... They got something to prove, right? So, Hobo.SIUE doesn't have any stats, so we have no idea how he's going to play out. But, Kami Puppy over here, their MVP, sitting at 2431 with a 0.77 KD ratio and a 23.68 SPR. Not, th not the best player, but certainly not the worst. We've seen, we've seen a pretty good show from him in previous streams. Let's take a look here down to the other stream graphics. Let's look, let's look at the map bands. Pretty standard bands from banning Skyscraper. Red Hawks taking the smart ban on Villa, trying to, trying to congregate the important maps that they want to play and cutting off the maps, the, the pop, more popular maps that they do not want to play. Uh, you can see Villa and Bank, 
are the maps that they banned, now, which are pretty common in higher play. And they even banned Clubhouse, which is a little bit surprising to me, because it seems to be one of the more popular maps in uh, Midwest R6 and in some other leagues as well. What do you think? Uh, I'd say the map bans are pretty normal. Clubhouse, like you said, is very interesting. Uh, seeing the Clubhouse is usually played a lot. Um, I haven't really seen anybody play the other maps, but the maps that they did pick are very solid maps to any any team, really. I'm looking forward to see how the MU Redhawks really play on Villa, on um, not Villa, uh, Cafe here. I'm trying to see for myself what strategies they pull out. You know, it can be a very divisive map uh, showing off individual skill of different players. Let's go to the vote and polls. Let's check out what we uh, what we can see there. Pretty standard, pretty standard um, community polls here, with almost with exactly 100% of the community voting directly for MU Redhawks, and a little bit of divisiveness from the Midwest R6 cast. But again, looking at that 100% for the MU. What do you think, Lacro? Do you think we're going to see an upset here or no? Um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for it, but I think, uh, I think, oh no. Oh, don't get standard here. Oh no. I think, I think the Red Hawks have it in the back here. Alrighty. Well, I'm excited to figure it out. Definitely. Alrighty. Pretty quick rundown of that, of that, uh, of the prep of that match, really. Um, I'm really excited to see some of the strategies they pull out on Villa 2. It can be a very interesting map. Uh, we've seen some really divisive strategies there as far as how people play Closet. Um, and, oh, I got the map wrong because I'm a dummy. They got Chalet here. <sighs> Silly me. Anyway, we're looking at Chalet, right? It's a very strategy-based map. This this one needs a lot of teamwork to work together. Um especially when it comes to holding down a basement on main wall. Now, I'm going to mute my mic as this announcement goes out. Uh, LaCro, why don't you take this? Uh, I'm interested to see the strategies that they use on Cafe here. Um, me, myself, I haven't really played much of Cafe in comp, but I'm interested to see like what happens in a collegiate match with Cafe. I haven't really seen it in collegiate. Chalet, I've, we've seen a lot. And uh, Oregon, the decider, if it goes there, is going to be very interesting as well. Now, on Cafe, we, see the we usually see the standard two roamers on every site. This can provide some interesting insight into seeing uh, the 1v1 one, the one one gunfights being taken from uh, MU Redhawks and seeing how divisive that gun skill actually turns out to be in these games and seeing if the strategy, if the strategy of the um, Sui, Sui White can actually come through here. How much time do we have left before this starts? <laughs> what have you been up to today, Lacro? Anything siege related? Oh, I've been playing ranked all day. Um, grinding out ranked? Grinding out ranked before, uh, you know, my collegiate debut next semester. Ooh, planning to debut in some collegiate games? What's yeah. your favorite operator? Uh, I Ooh, we're starting. Say... The Ooh, we're starting. Lock. Gridlock, nice. Alrighty, maybe we'll see some interesting gridlock gridlock plays in the uh, in here. Hopefully. Watch your ums, watch your stammers, and let's get to banning. First ban here from Sui Red. I'm predicting maybe some interesting bans coming up, or maybe some standard bans. Let's see. Pretty yeah, cool. st very standard ban here. Thatcher, they want to keep those walls secure. Maybe Red Hawks take away a roamer here. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. The knock ban. They don't want to be snuck up on. Getting those nades out so they can't nade from below and taking away a critical roamer as they move into master bedroom. The defender ban here coming out with Rook. Interesting. Very interesting ban. Maybe they don't want to have to deal with downing people. 
is a very annoying thing to deal with. However, I think the Red Hawk skill would actually make up for that. Maybe they'll hit. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll see a few nasty headshots here. And Solus, ooh, that new character coming out, sticking in the band slot, not really seeing much play. Let's get into it. Round one. Now, what site do you think they're gonna go? Wine, wine cellar? Uh, I'd say they're gonna go top floor here first. Uh, looking at it, uh, basement is probably one of the more difficult sites to hold on this map. Definitely in collegiate. It's not. It's very different from what you see in ranked. When ranked, people like to play like to play their own solo game more often than not. But in collegiate, you really have to work together as a team because both teams are playing at their highest caliber. Yeah. Let's give them some hype, said Ms. says Midwest Star Six. Let's go. Alrighty. Ooh, the gridlock. I'm excited. Ooh. Maybe they'll show you how to play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a look at this, uh, th let's take a third person look at this site defense here. Now, the standard, the standard head holes on that little, uh, little walk-in closet area. And, ooh, we're only reinforcing one side of astronomy and leaving the left side open. I wonder if there's going to be head holes placed there as well. Oh yeah, here they come. Sui taking the head holes there. Interesting play, but not unheard of. Gridlock coming out first round. Good to see that. I'm excited. Very standard library take over here. They're rotating around with the Mozzie, trying to make sure to, they don't necessarily get in right away. Ooh, we see a peek here from the Mozzie, taking a little bit of that ego. But the recoil control, not the best. Ooh, not a good enough reaction time to get that out of there. That drone's stuck on him. And now he's cut off. He can't even rotate back. Oh, there goes the drone. But they're still looking at him. Will he be able to get back? Yes, he will. Alrighty. Mozzie makes it back out alive. One tap 77 looking to get back into sight safe and sound. Ooh, wall's getting opened here. Might be seeing early plant. Ooh, little gunfight here on the head holes. Who is that on piano? Can I get a look at him? Alrighty, we got TTV Puppy sitting over here in the Kiba Barriers. Looking at this little interesting hole. I wonder to see if we can get a kill through there. Lavish going down. Kalit Kayo is going down as well. Finished off the Lavish. Tried to nade from below, couldn't secure it. It is 4v4, and we're a minute 17 left. Getting down here on time. Interesting little... Ooh, interesting little... Ooh, one tap! Interesting interesting 4v3 here. Will they be able to take sight with, with so many people down? Plant goes down. Hobo. Ooh. Interesting kill here. Now, I'm sorry I'm not calling out names, per se, but the resolution on my on my end is a little bit borked. Oh, it's turned around. It's now a 1v2. Dickle Pants taking it out. Come on, Dickle. You can do it. Plant's going down on, on the floor as it's a 1v1 here. Now it's turned to a 1v2. Will they be able to take back? The game, the round. Dickle Pants inching forward, and he takes it. Dickle Pants coming here, looking for the diffuser. Yes, he spots it. What a good round. What a good show from Dickle Pants. SIUE with the first round. Alrighty, coming into round two, Red Hawks versus Sui. Let's see it. Might they be moving on to Wine Cellar? Interesting that they were to take the first round. Do you think their ego got to them a little bit there? I think uh, they they knew like what their record was, and they knew that they were 
on the top a little bit and they thought that we could just rush in and get a plant down, but it did not end up working. Alrighty. We can see that some people went off by themselves and didn't have much backup. There wasn't any refrags to be taken. And capitalizing on that, Sui managed to actually take the take the round from them. That might be an interesting reality check here for MU, though this the predictions are still going for them. We might be seeing a turnaround as we speak and as we see. Now, remind me, who was the who is the player that is brand spanking new to Midwest R6 today? If we look back uh, I at our... Think it was Hobo. Hobo? Yep. Let me take a look here. Hobo Sui, the new player. Let's see if we can see anything... Anything special from him today. Let's take a look at this Azami. Moving in... Moving in from Campfire. Predicting a garage take here. Fuse, interestingly enough, going back towards Wine Cellar. Little main wall take here. Though, is Lavish going to be able to rotate around fast enough? He might be on the wrong side of the map. MU. Don't sell it now. Are they going to take Wine Cellar instead? Do they know TTV Kami, Kami Puppy is there? Ooh, interesting kill from one tap here. Ooh, but the refrag. refrag. And another refrag. They're not going down without a fight. They might even take this. User is down upstairs. Interesting, interesting C4 play. Ooh. He's predicting somebody at that window, but they're not there. Let's go to Lavish's POV. Let's take a look over there. Main wall already gotten open, but it's still a 4v3. They might not be able to take it. He's rotating around to Wine Cellar, seeing if he can take that wall open as well. But the diffuser is down upstairs. They might not be able to get this back. This might come out to be a W for Sui. Will anybody rotate around to help TTV Kami Puppy? We don't know. Miss Trump. I think they saw him there, actually. We might be seeing a very interesting gunfight here in a couple seconds. They're droning out upstairs, making sure nobody's rotated around to secure the diffuser. I think they might be right. They might have the diffuser back here without a, without a significant fight. No, Sui, don't give it up. The diffuser's theirs. Interesting recovery, but it's 45 seconds left on the clock. Are they going to be able to secure this round? They don't know. He doesn't oh, they don't know. It wasn't Mr. Drone. Ooh, but they can't secure the kill. And there it goes. Red Hawks dropping the diffuser once more, leaving it in a place they can't secure. And another MU goes down. They see him, and Ooh. they take the kill. Diffuser back in the pocket, but... It's the round goes to the defenders. Tell me a little bit about the strategy you saw there. Um, I saw that they were they had obviously one top floor in solar roaming, and they also had one below in trophy roaming, which was very huge. Getting that diffuser down. Um, it it did look like it was tough for MU to capitalize and get back on the diffuser to go for a plant downstairs, but. Um, the bandit held his own, and it was huge for SIUE. Absolutely. It was interesting to see this team rated so high and get stuck so far off of sight. Attackers need to locate and bombs. Big plays coming here from Sui. Early takes, too. This was their pick. This is their map. We'll see how this, we'll see how this ends up playing out. But right now, it's looking good. I'm impressed. It's, it's blowing my mind. TTV Kami Puppy coming out here, placing the, with the interesting shield hold up on top of blue. We've seen this before in some other places. You can actually cover a large amount of uh, large amount of real estate sitting up there. Standard setup, pretty default. Blow the hatch, place frost mats. You got yourself a good hold. 
the Kona Station, making sure that if you get tapped, you can stay in the game. Redox coming out here. Interesting that they have the Lavish MU on Jackal. But also interesting is Hobo. Already spitting out some rounds at people. Trying to make sure you can clear everything out. Lavish trying to sync up with the rest of his team. They're moving in, trying to take Master. Do they know that the Thunderbird is sitting down there waiting for him? Ooh, might see an interesting kill up here. Might see a repeat of last round. Oh, no! Very good kill. Very good kill. Opening up a library window here. Trying to take the top of blue. But this control, this control is very difficult to take. The Thunderbird, ro the Thunderbird roaming really would have helped out here. But you already can see that it's falling apart. Alrighty. Red Hawks. Taking back, sweeping through, making sure the site's secure. And here we can see the execution start to take place. Got the camera. But an interesting kill here on S from Sui back on. Ooh, do they know? No! Interesting frags here out from Warden trying to make sure that nobody can come into this site. Nobody's taking Geisha. This is his. This is his. Mezzanine is secure. There ain't, there ain't no taking this. They don't even have the utility to remove the, remove the shields from the top of Mezzanine. Blue's secure. Mezzanine's secure. Ooh, but an interesting refrag. Not refrag. Just an interesting frag here. Coming out. I really gotta fix my resolution. Impact EMP going out. Try to make sure that no utility can be used to spot them. No! But Hobo taking the round for his team. Ain't nobody's taking this game from him. Hobo's on for an ace here. Will we see it? They're pushing down. We might not see that ace. As a gunfight takes place in the bottom, in the bottom of games here. 13 seconds left on the clock. Will they be able to move in and actually take the site? You get ace here, trying to make sure that he can get into get in, but no, no, it's not happening. Defenders won round three. Sui with a one-sided performance. The early frag making me question whether or not they can take this, but yes, they can. Round four. Let's see it. They're going back to their first site. Will they be able to hold it? Master bedroom. Very interesting that we're seeing the upset here. I'm eager to be proven wrong. I don't know about you. I'm, I'm kind of rooting for SIUE here. I want to see him take it. I'm, I'm now completely rooting for them. Very good show from Hobo there. Very, very good show. Nice, nice individual skill right there. Got some coordination headed up at the top of blue as well. Let's see if they can repeat it. Same standard head holes. They worked out last time. Bulletproof camera on the wall, making sure that they can see through there. The renegade goes in the door, preventing nades, and preventing entry. I wonder if we're going to see a bandit should come out here. But probably not. As they probably will put him on roam once more. Now it's a little bit interesting to see Mozzie played in uh, comp as much as, he ha as much as he has been on this team. Really spawn peak here. Can he take it? No. Very close, though. Very, very close. Maybe a little bit greedy, even. But he's not going back out to peak at as, mu as much as I thought he would be. Rotating back up to Astro. As you can see here, the library take going well. Going well. Slow but steady. Dickle Pants still setting up, though. The zombie playing up there. Hobo. Can he, can he show as good an individual performance as he did last game? 
And the Kiva Berries here are actually very well placed. We'll see if they can win him the round. Nice quick peeks. Not letting him not letting his head rest out in the open. Taking that pixel for himself. Taking care of the Kiba Berries. He might not have a place to place to go anymore. He resets another one. A little bit off, but Ooh, oh. he gets the headshot. Took his bean right off. One tap, struggling with the drone, but he eventually gets it. Ooh, one tap, shot from behind. Not looking where he's supposed to. Some action here. Ooh, taking off Colas's head. Oh, but the refrag on Hobo. Hobo winning the round. Ooh, let's go. Come on. Hobo, 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 Hobo. He's on for another ace here. Come on, man. They're two left. They're both on K9. You can hear him. There's no way you don't hear the impact MP. Go back up, Hobo. Get the kills. Get the round. Win for Sui. Come on. An He's impact. Here. Interesting plays. He rotates around. Take to K9. Comes back to a 2v2. They're not on site. Are they going to be able to walk in and plant? Oh, but they're on the top of Mezzanine. They're joining out right now. Very slow. Method out, very slow, very methodical plays here. Red Hawks might be able to take the round back, but it's going to be difficult. They have sight lines directly into where they're going to enter. It might not be easy as they get the drone. Information's gone, but Hobo struggling. Come on, Hobo. You know where they are. Come on, Hobo. Oh, no. Hobo doesn't know. Hobo doesn't know that they're in. Junkie, taking the kill. Snap to Commando Puppy. Oh no, Commando Puppy! Come on, you got him. You know he's. You know where they died. They have to plant now. Ooh, there they. There it is. Running in, ballsy play. As the attackers win round four. Do you think they're gonna wake up? Do you think they're gonna take the rest of these rounds? As I very. Think they're, they're getting in the groove here. It's looking like. Yeah, those early kills are not going in their favor, though. And even when they did a couple rounds ago, you were able to see that Sui was able to take it back. This is actually going to be surprisingly close. Maybe we we might be seeing a turnaround for Sui as they strive into the first first map of the game. This is an, a very interesting lineup for Sui here. We'll see how it plays out. Going back to master bedroom. Hmm. York's here, using up some health to make those rotates. Some communication going on between so you can't hear, but it's not like there's a, it almost looked like they were they were fighting with each other a little bit there. Interesting Just use little... of the 50 mag to try and get some head holes there. Little team team love going on. Little team love, they kissing. Talking about dinner after the game. No, what do you think you're gonna have for dinner after the game? I don't know. Whatever uh, the family decided to cook. I know I'm gonna have another round of ranked for me. <laughs> I'm I'm getting there too. Like you for some ten mans. Heck yeah. Alrighty, we're gonna see one tap roaming down below. Probably gonna try and secure this, secure this as they try and enter into the library. But they're gonna know that that hatch is open. There's no way they don't. Lavish coming in with a drone. Does he see one tap? Hubbo watching main door, but there's too much to watch at once. Will he be able to direct his attention to the right spots? Oh come on, those feet are ready for you to take, Hobo. Come on. Seen a lot of action on the top of library here. It's interesting that it doesn't have a lot of help. The retro drone coming through, but not able to secure the Azami barriers. Quick peeks, trying to get through this. He knows that they're in. They got the Azami barriers, but they're not going to stay gone for long. Lavish down to one tap. One tap coming through, destroying the drone. Secured downstairs. Will he be able to watch? the hatch yes he will this might be an interesting kill here on the top of library 
looking like another round for Sui. I'm gonna be able to take this. No, one tap one goes tap down. down. I'm actually really curious about this uh, Kami puppy's role in this site. Usually we see Oryx roaming instead of anchoring, but he is see how it plays stood out. up anchoring right now, looking directly into a reinforced wall. As the side of his closet will be starting to get opened up, is he still in the game? You see a very good kill here from Junkie, looking directly at Captain Puppy, taking him out. Not being able to stay alive for too long as that wall opens up. Making sure that nobody's caught in that corner there. They know somebody's on piano. He's laying prone, trying to be careful. Will he be able to stay alive, though? They know he's there. They know. They're playing that they know. Ooh, interesting little shots fired there. Thunderbridge pinned. Will she be able to get the kill here to unpin herself? Doesn't look like it. If she takes more damage. They know she's there. They know they can't push in until they kill her. But she can't get out. She can't get anywhere safe and she can't heal. 13 seconds left on the clock. Will they be able to take sight in those 13 seconds? This is a critical point. This is where games live and die. Come on now. You got this. Hobo coming in with the anchor. Will he be able to take the game back? The answer might surprise you. He's now 3v1. And he takes damage from behind. He hears the beeper. Beeper's taken out. He knows they're on the window. He knows the diffuser is. And he gets shot from every single angle and taken out wow. by the <laughs> by the tracks. See? <laughs> that operator is coming in handy. Gridlock is she's a strong operator. Interesting. Very, very essential for cutting off rotates. I uh, I was used to playing Nomad, but then the teams like switched to Gridlock, she's much better. So I switched and fell in love with her ever since. Gridlock is very, very good, and you can see some very, very good plays from her. However, it's very interesting to see the actual kill security that you have when playing with Nomad. Once they hit that that bounce, that little bounce charge, it's really essential that you hit that flick directly onto them. Otherwise, they're going to get right back up, and they're going to rotate right off. They're not going to try and fight you on that. No. One thing I do like about Good Luck, though, is using her track stringers to cover up the sound of the plant. Absolutely. It's very good for that. Sui hitting head holes in that wall. You usually see re reinforced. Kami Puppy, again on the Oryx, looking for drones here, making sure, sure to cut off the roams. Beeper, ooh, a little bit misplaced. Could work still. Well, he, yep, he's trying to replace it. Oh, but the drone spots it. Go with the Cade here instead of the Bandit. Interesting play. I'm not going to Bandit trick it. I'm going to try and Cade trick it. It is possible to completely shut off the wall here with Cade if you know the correct spots to play. MU ready for the runouts. No runouts in sight, though. Cade on the wall, it. waiting for it. I think I know what Fuse is up to here. Oh, we've seen this before, haven't we? Fuse, show me what you got. He's got to make sure that the top area is clear, though. Otherwise, he could get ran out on, as this is a very intense process to take through. Somebody could even dome him from the mezzanine. Gridlock securing off Master Bedroom. We got a Valkyrie sitting in Trophy, off-site. What's that POV look like? Are they just on the camera? No, one tap's definitely in Trophy. Kami Puppy running around, making some noise. Will he be found out? Will I know to take care of him? Furthermore, what's Fuse going to do? Seems like they're kind of confused on what to do here. So they're trying to take every angle at once. It's a minute 30 and they're not even close to sight. Will this be their downfall?
they're very scared of the roamers here. Be patient, though. We might see some interesting plays here from Fuse. They're creeping closer to sight. Cameras are out. They don't know now. But this takes a little bit. Is he even fusing in the right spot? Beeper going off. Interesting gunfight going to take place here. Fuse goes Ooh. down. It's an interesting gunfight here. One down from each. Impact EMP going off here. Will they get the wall? Seems like yes. Beeper down. Wine take. 30 seconds left on the talk. Will they be able to actually secure the site? Pull says yes. But TTV Kami Puppy says no. He takes the ace out. Swing and a miss. Come on, it's a 1v4. Can we see a show here from Flashstorm? Missing his shots. Gets one. Bala. He loses to the next. Get Tommy flashbacks puppy. there for a second. Ooh. Flashbacks to what? Aid 1.5. <laughs> They took oh, it away. I'm. I was so mad that they took away my 1.5. I used to play Cade all the time. Oh, that was fun. I'm a flex player, but Cade was my best stop in uh in ranked, definitely. My best stop in ranked it was Cade by far. Play him all the time. I love using his 3.0 times pistol to take people away from <laughs> angles that they don't they think they're safe from, but you just it, you can see their little head peek over a railing. Maybe even over top of a wall. Boom. Gone. And they wouldn't even know what happened. Then they're in all chat typing. Hacker, 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 <laughs> hacker. TDB, <sighs> Kami Puppy, you're on Dokubi. We see the rounds switch up. Uh, ooh, actually. I was wondering what they were doing with that uh, that bulletproof camera. Will you put a, an Arunigate over it? Yeah. If you put a running gate right over that camera, they can't take it out as easy. Interesting little welcome that spot there. I don't think they're going to drop on that, but it's always a possibility that they make it overzealous and actually not look before they drop. Alrighty. It's four to two. Will this game turn out to be defender sided? Already calling out. Garage. The first place to go as trophy gets broken into. The cow goes moo. The shining star of the MU team creeping up on him. He hears them. He knows they're there waiting for them to swing right into his open, deadly arms. So they take through astronomy. They're not going to him without even knowing they're avoiding him. He's slowly creeping up like a like a bird of prey. Tell me, will he get the kill? Will he secure the victory for his team with this flank that's going around wide around? Dokubi they have their backs turned. The they don't even know. He doesn't see the Dokubi. Oh. He doesn't see the Dokubi. <laughs> no, not like this. <laughs> no, missed opportunities. Dokubi knows. Oh no. He could have had two free kills there. He walks away with one. One is better than none. That is indeed true. But now they're now they're nervous. Interesting nade. Ooh. By the Jaeger. Impact EMPing it, maybe? Yes. Oh, no. Burning it. Burning it. And the nade goes out. No kill. Ooh, there goes one tap. Will they shine? As Gizami goes down on defense. Will they take it? 
Oh, it's a 3v3. They're bringing it back, but they cannot secure the blue kill. They're flashing out. They know he's not there anymore. They took the top of blue. Kami Puppy pushing down the main stairs. But he's all alone. Will he be able to work with his teammate to actually secure this plant? Three on site. Diffuser goes down. 13 seconds left in the round, and they cannot secure the victory here. It goes to four to three. Blinded and killed. A very interesting kill cam there. Like I said, one is better at, than none. Yeah, look at Hobo. Look at the stats between Hobo and the cow goes moo. You see very similar KD ratios. This new player might turn out to be one of the star players for Sui. Bringing out the Twitch here. Interesting pick after that rework with her gun. I have not seen much of Twitch lately. No. But interesting utility denial operator. Nice thorn placement. Very, very good. Making sure you can run through that rotate. Opening up a little bit wider. Very default strategy here. Very default. Ten seconds left. Nothing overly complex. They don't want to overcomplicate it for themselves. Five seconds left before insertion. That same camera strategy going up on the wall, making sure they can't get it. Had a little bit of trouble getting the main cam there, but they got it. Dickle pants moving in. Ooh, one tap taking some damage right off the bat. Not dead, though. Not dead. And you know what they say in Rainbow Six Siege. If you're not dead, you're a full health player. Half his house still in spawn. Zero making his way around. Interesting. You don't see a lot of Argus play, Argus play here. In comp we might get to see interesting take here Jaeger's going up blue working his way around making sure that the balcony is taken Bomb located by attackers. mezzanine dickle pants trying to take it it's electrified though they're not gonna let it go easy bandit sitting there waiting for him Alrighty. Let's see some action. Come on. Red Hawks, you can take this. You know, we were predicting a sweep here, but we're really seeing these guys tie up a little bit. I wonder if they're I wonder if they're actually a little bit nervous as the the stats are really getting to their head, right? Yeah. Ooh, they they hear him in. They hear him in. Let's get him. Ooh, that was an ego play. He knows that they're nice. down below, and he knows they're in library. Jucky goes down. They hear the buck. They're waiting for him. And they take the down. No refrag. Another one. Oh, my God. The cow goes moo with a triple kill, leaving the Kami puppy by himself. There's a reason why he's the star player. I have been just informed that I've been saying the names wrong. It is Jucky. Like Chucky, but with a J. The Kami Puppy looking for any kills he can get here. But it's a 3v1 scenario. He did get the kill on the Kago's Moo. But he's taking a pause here. He's stuttering. He's trying to figure out what he needs to do. I don't know if he was able if he's gonna be able to secure the victory here. Oh, interesting headshot. They're not giving him they're not giving him the sight line and they take the feet holes, securing the round and tying the game. 
two more wins is all that they need here. That was a, a huge play from the Cagos move. Oh, I'm actually, correction, three more wins on each team. The Cowgoes Moo winning the round for his team. I wonder if he'll be able to win a couple more. Oryx on the Cowgoes Moo. He saw them play it last round and he got jealous. He wants it. The mirror coming out as well. You didn't see the mirror on the on the uh, on Sui's side. Maybe that was a mistake from their end. You know, is a a strong operator on. Chile. Especially on these basement sites. Getting that information and getting those peaks really comes down to that level of strategy. It's com it's it's not unwinnable, but it's pretty it's a pretty hard to take the main wall here. You're going to see them probably work their way around Wine Cellar then, trying to get that sideline onto the connecting room. Really trying to cut people off so that nobody else can rotate back on and take them. But an interesting spawn heat peak lineup coming out here from Lavish. Lavish at MU wanting to get more kills on his KD ratio, but I don't think I don't see anybody spawning over there. Nope. Juki. Ah, Juki. I am sorry. I will make a better effort to pronounce people's names right in the future. However, my, comp my computer really trying to overheat itself here as it struggles to give me even one pixel. Macau goes Moo really trying to take the MVP spot here. He hears him. Oh, come on. Give it to him. Oh, no. Oh, no. He got caught off guard. The sledge here trying to take his life away from him. But he's playing for it. He's not going to go down easy. Really risky plays here is anybody could have been watching the angle. Now we're at a standstill. Working at 150. Finding a better spot. Reloading ammo. Oh, so moving forward the shield, trying to take some real estate from the enemy team. M.U. Jucky. Juki, rather. I will make my best effort to fix that. Coming in with a flank. Quiet and stealthy. If he can take this, this might turn out to be a W for the Red Hawks. But they've opened up Wine Cellar. Slow and steady. Oh, here comes some kills. Hobo's dead. One tap's dead. Flashstorm to MU. Also falling. Juki. Where are you? You were just on you were just in the flank. Doesn't know where anybody else is. Checking every spot to make sure that they're only in one place. But they're all on wine cellar. Another standstill here. As, Ju as Juki tries to move in and take a kill. TV Kami Puppy. Trying to stay alive. One HP. Really unfortunate. They're both low. Oh, and TTV gets dropped out of the out of the game. Kami Puppy. Gotta be angry about that one. Lavish to MU. Hitting a stim all the way back up. This his entire team is now full health. Dickel Panson. Hanikos, trying to make sure that they can take this, but it comes up to a triple kill from the Calgos Moo. 1v4, and they lose it as he runs directly in and takes the headshot. Do we have... For that, uh... I'm going to try and pronounce this as best I can. Kolikos. Do we have a pronunciation for that name as well? Uh, I'm going to call him Kalikos for right now. I'll correct myself later. It's Juki. Jake. Juki. Juki. I will try my best. Where is that pin again? Your bombs from being 
I think going back to that basement site, the wine take has become more of the uh, the default approach to taking basement rather than main wall. Lot as gun skill increases throughout the entire of the comp area, you'll see people willing to give up that wall just to take a couple gunfights and try and win it out based on individual skill. Tell me a little bit about what you expect to see here as they open up all these rotates. Um, I'm expecting them to... SIUE is going to be caught off guard by what's going on on the top floor as they try to clear it. It's going to be very interesting to see their approach, but I feel like the, the setup is more advanced from the Red Hawks here. So I feel like they're going to take the round. Alrighty, let's put some energy into this as we see them all try and go garage. Calicos coming around. Zero coming out. Will he be able to make some plays here? Is he going out on his own? The rest of the team working together. Cow goes Moo rotating around to meet them where they stand. Looking down at the bottom of Astronomy. Shaking his head. No, they're not going in. He gets the drone. Does he know where it came from, though? As he looks directly onto a barricade. Ayana moving up, moving up through Garage. Taken through West Main. As she carefully drones it out. One tap coming through. Solo take trying from the top of the library. As he's pinging them out for his teammates. Telling them where they are. That hatch is open, which makes this a dangerous take. Sorry, say that again? Good luck with a big pick on the, on the Jaeger. Absolutely. The cow goes mood down. Escaped my escaped my field of view. Laser focused in on these players here. That's my bad. Very good call. Don't be afraid to speak up, by the way. If I miss something, well, you let me know. Smoke's going out at 1 minute 20 seconds. Two kills now for Sui. They're not letting them in easy. Oh, come on. Red Hawks, you got this. Another smoke canister down. It only has one left. And a minute left into the game. All Last three smokes down. are gone. I'll leave them at 40. 40 seconds can change the game, though. As well as three players. All three of them itching to change their KD ratios to a positive one. They're looking at the crossfire, trying to make sure they can't come down blue, but the sledge is starting to take from above as Shucks gets onto Dickel Pants. A gunfight here on main stairs. Attempting to turn the game around. Fifteen seconds remaining. Fifteen seconds left, and they can they take sight? TTB drops. You got Calico's gone. Hobo and one tap left to take the round, but they can't take it. Hobo trying to get as best as he can into sight, but he gets caught off guard by the frost looking through the head holes. Interesting plays there. Ooh. Coming down to the last round, we see them take every sight here. Rotating back around. We might see them sweep the defending round. This might turn out to be your win from Midwest from Red Hawks MU. Good luck kinda hurt my feelings last round a little bit, going on with the LMG. You know, the LMG is a useful tool with its mag size, but the AR, definitely a more a more precise, more controllable weapon. I've been experimenting with the uh, with a long barrel on the AR. So far, it's been pretty good. How much damage does that gun do again? Ah, uh, off the top of my head, I don't know, but it's somewhere around like 40 something, I believe. Does it get above 50 with the extended barrel? I don't think so. It might. If it gets above 45, you can see a consistent kill on a, uh, 
with three shots from a three armor. Uh, even with rook armor on, they might only take three shots to kill, but it will absolutely be a three shot kill if that damage goes above one, uh, damage goes above 50. Interesting spawn here, peak here from Lavish as he tries to get his KD ratio above positive once again, but nobody's showing up. Very common spawn peak. I wonder if they will ever catch him on there. It's a couple individual takes here as they rotate around trying to take astronomy. Attackers have located a bomb. Shuxi trying to open up sight art still. Making sure their rotates are in place for those roamers. Interesting kill here from the Calgo's Moo, not letting them into sight and not letting them into trophy. Impact MPs goes out, people hear them. Fuse, taking some fuse in these windows, trying to make sure that people are cleared out of piano, cleared out of library hallway. Lavish getting hit. We see the wall get open here. Jackie and Lavish both on low health, but I've said this before and I'll say it again. It does not matter. You could be on one HP and you could still win a game with a, with a 5k ace. It's 3v5 in favor of Red Hawks and in favor of the game going to Red Hawks. We'll see if they can finally take it out. Coming back from their four from their four losses on attack. Come on, you got this. The wall is open. The execution coming in. Calico's trying desperately to get the guy off the shield, but no! Warden says no! Juki coming in with a kill on. Calicos. And we see another kill on the TTV. Kami Puppy cannot secure the kill. Thorn taking his life away from him. In desperation, Tickle Pants tries to move around, but flawless victory in round 11 as the Red Hawks take the game. Moving on to map two, Red Hawks might sweep that. It is their pick. The cow goes nuclear, says Lavish. Interesting plays, interesting games. Looking at the scoreboard, interesting KD ratios coming in from the top players as Hobo, their new player, takes the lead. Coming back over here. What do you think about that game? Um, I thought for sure that Sui was going to take it at, at first, but in the end, uh, Red Hawks decided to come back, and they took it. It was their map, and th it was an interesting show telling us that, hey, we're here, and we're not, we're not going to go down easy. It might be a game that's stacked, and the odds are stacked against them, but hey, they're not bad, and they got some plays to make. Will it be enough, though, if they go into round two, go into the Red Hawks map on, on Cafe Dostoevsky, very interesting little thing there. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm sweating. <laughs>
Want to build your resume? Midwest is looking for volunteers in many different categories that fit your desire. Want to do digital marketing? We got you. Interested in statistics, moderation, production, or social media? This is the place for you. Build your career and resume with Midwest R6. All members will shadow their design position and be given a shot at the big leagues. Do you think you have what it takes? Send us your resume to MidwestR6League at gmail.com or fill out your interest form located in the Midwest R6 Discord server. He's, he's half, like halfway up now. Halfway up. Like. Robo getting taken down. Yana just walking in the... Oh, Sludge. Oh, 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 oh come oh. on! But not realizing there's a second player there. It's a 1v1. What's his in? Oh, but that... Star 6 is looking for league sponsorships. Want to be a part of many college students' next journey? Midwest R6 focuses to give college students and beyond an opportunity to get real-world experience in their desired career field or a hobby they enjoy. Midwest R6 aims to work with businesses that believe what people do matters. Want to be a part of the journey? Send us an email at MidwestR6League at gmail.com to get started. Looking to increase your aim? Kovacs is one of the best aim trainers and a proud partner of Midwest R6. Upgrade your FPS skills with over 21,000 scenarios, map editors, and much more. Kovacs. Want to build your resume? Midwest is looking for volunteers in many different categories that fit your desire. Want to do digital marketing? We got you. Interested in statistics, moderation, production, or social media? This is the place for you. Build your career and resume with Midwest R6. All members will shadow their design position and be given a shot at the big leagues. Do you think you have what it takes? Send us your resume to MidwestR6League at gmail.com or fill out your interest form located in the Midwest R6 Discord server. He's, he's half, like halfway up now. Halfway up. Like. Robo getting taken down. Yana just walking in the... Oh, Sludge. Oh, 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 oh come oh. on! But not realizing there's a second player there. It's a 1v1. What's his in? Oh, but... Star 6 is looking for league sponsorships. Want to be a part of many college students' next journey? Midwest R6 focuses to give college students and beyond an opportunity to get real-world experience in their desired career field or a hobby they enjoy. Midwest R6 aims to work with businesses that believe what people do matters. Want to be a part of the journey? Send us an email at MidwestR6League at gmail.com to get started. Looking to increase your aim? Kovax is one of the best aim trainers and a proud partner of Midwest R6. Upgrade your FPS. Welcome back to Midwest R6 from the break. I'm Lecro, and we will just quickly recap last game. Interesting first couple of rounds from Sui. Trying to make sure that that map stays theirs. Unfortunately, they could not secure it, and the round went over to Red Hawk MU. Let's see if the same if the same thing happens, or if they can pull a win from the ether. Did they get ready yeah, to start very, here. Very interesting. Um, kind of knew the uh, Red Hawks were gonna take it, but it was just that that little chance that SIUE could take it. It does look like the stream quality is picking up a little bit here. I don't know what happened, but I'm get I'm getting I'm getting a higher quality here. 
Man, they're talking about taking walks to Poland and stuff. They're antsy. They're antsy. They're itching not to get iced. They want to start the game, and they're wanting to get some kills in their pockets, some experience. Let's see if let's see if Hobo can actually take it back here. He's got the Datsui in his name. Big rep from them. The cow goes moo. Looking like the star players are going to have to take a face off here as individual skill comes into play for each and every operator in each and every gunfight on this map. Lavish yeah, saying... Sorry, go ahead. This map's going to be, be interesting to, to watch. Um, Obo surprised me because he's a new player. I wasn't really expecting him to go crazy like that, but in the end, he, he went crazy. He is new for Midwest R6. I don't know if he's played in any other leagues with uh, with Suey White. A little bit of a little bit of joking here down in the all chat. Wonder how this is gonna. Oh, they're talking about some crazy okay. stuff down in there. Let's close. Let's close that. Maybe maybe uh, mute the uh, maybe mute the players here. Making sure that we don't show anything TOS on stream. They're going crazy. They are going crazy. They are going wacky. And they are going goofy. Let's see if we can right-click on some names here. Yeah, all right. So we got Cafe Dostoevsky. Interesting couple sites here. We main two got the upstairs site with the bar, with the freezer, making sure that people don't take the don't take Skylight and don't take the New Balk or Heaven. Those are the really, really interesting spots there. Top of white and top of red need to stay on lock the entire round otherwise the round does go to the attackers most of the time as we start here you can see interesting bands are going to come out into play just looked at my gain my gain settings are ultra high right now and my audio might have been unbalanced the entire time and i might not have known what a misplay coming from me you see a ban here Sui on defense once more Probably going to ban the Thatcher. I don't think they're going to do anything different. Come on, let's see something interesting. Is Thatcher the ban here? Doe okay. Kebby coming out. Let's see it. The cow goes moo. Wishing the enemy players good luck and have fun. And TTV Kami Puppy replying with some love. And some hate I'm coming interested. out from the Puppy. Oh, so awesome. here. They do not want to be dealing with that shield. That is one annoying gadget. Though an impact an impact from an operator completely does, does almost completely counter her, though you do have to face check it. I'm gonna guess the mirror here. Mirror ban? Out of the blue. No nope, Cade. They don't want those they don't want those hatches to get secured. They like playing top down. I'm thinking of Miraban here, though. Either Mirror or Solus. I don't think they let that stand after what happened to him. Solus, though, could be a standard ban, though. Mira. Mira. Nope. Mirror coming out. They don't want to have to play against her once more. Because they know they're not using her, so they got to lose her. Alrighty. Jaeger, Doc, Soul is coming out. Oryx on the hobo. And Izami on the one tap. Let's see where this strategy comes out. Bar and cocktail. Ooh, my throat's getting a little bit dry. I might need to go get a drink here. Attackers need to locate Alrighty. Lavish. I was itching to see that Amaru play. Thatcher coming out from Juki. Juki. My bad. Juki. I'm interested to see if uh, Oryx is going to do the setup to see the long angle under the default plant from Cocktail. Oh, he absolutely will. Come on, Hobo. Show us something good here. Zami looking for someone to place her Kiba 
interesting play is no shield comes out. I was thinking that Kami might actually pull out pull out a different operator to get that shield to secure the pixel peak. Ooh. But instead, we got to keep a barrier. The weirdest oh. spot I could have thought. Maybe a wasted gadget there. Alrighty, Lavish coming in with a knock. Juki coming here with the Thatcher. Cal goes Moo on the IQ. Doesn't want to run into anything that he doesn't expect. Calicos roaming around in the bottom, already trying to look out for Lavish. Really find him. Alrighty, they're working in. From downstairs, opening up heaven. A little bit of contesting from Cocktail. Lavish gets a kill on one tap. Ooh, I'm loving the resolution on this. Much, much better. Much, much better. I'm loving it. Joining in. Will they see him? He's on red. Nope. The cow goes moo. Takes move. it from Calicos. That's her. army player down. Very important kill as it cuts off the rest of the Kiba barriers. Ooh, Hobo taking out the Kalgos Moo. A battle of the carries. One. A little bit of a egotistical play there as he rushed into white. Not really checking or droning to see if they were actually holding it. Dickle Pants goes down to Shucks. The Kami Puppy trying to hold it as best he can, but he knows they're in Freezer. And Hobo. Oh! We're to the from Lavish. Good kills. But it won't Hobo be enough. Down. Alrighty. I'm going to call cast this round. Why don't you take the front lines and see if you can't call this? That was a very well put together execute from the attackers. Um, Oryx, big play. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't clutch it up. Doc, unfortunately, did not see the knock in Freezer or come from Freezer. We see pretty much the same lineup from the attackers here. Uh, switching out the sledge for the sledge um we see an almost new lineup from the defenders from siue the mute is a very good operator to cut off the drone you so and stop the top red walls from getting open for anyone wondering we did not indeed buy we did not buy any new nitro for our, for our caster. It is in fact just an issue with the resolution. And now that we're going native resolution, it seems to be a little bit better. You know, a little bit of a dip in resolution, but it returns. It returns. Ooh, interesting spawn kills coming from Kami Puppy as Lavish takes him back, not letting it go without a fight. A warden spawn peak. They're going to take hatches already. Red Hawks ready and willing to take this site once more as their hobo begins to reinforce a wall that should have been reinforced earlier in the game, wasting some of his time and resources. But it's the attackers who need to capitalize on that. But will they? Thatcher goes down. That is an unfortunate pick for the attackers because they will no longer be able to get the top red wall open unless they get the mute jammer. Here we oh. go. Wall's getting open. The mute jammer is not enough to secure that. It might even be low enough to hop through. Lavish. Lavish is going in. Take some kills here. Let's see some gunfights. Didn't see the guy heaven. 
they know he's there, but he's not swinging. He's being very careful, very precise, waiting out this play. And the drone goes out. Will they see him? Will they waste some time trying to get him out of there? Got okay, a minute 15 left. They do have time for it. Goes the ADS is... Concussion goes out. Yeah, Will he move? Out. Oh, Ooh, Diggle Pants! Fallen! Hobo trying to keep it locked down. The swing from Newbalk is Hobo's pushed all the way back directly into white, holding the cocktail bar as best he can. Calico's taking a lot of damage there, but he doesn't fall. That new bout needs to be. Oop! Lavish. Big plays here. Will Lavish get the ace? They don't know. They don't know he's down. Attackers are activating the bomb diffuser. Possible ace here. Ace here from Lavish. Lavish looking directly out of where he would be. Big gunfight. Come on, Lavish. You can take the ace. Just push it, just a little bit. Lavish, Lavish taking the, the ace. ace! What I say with individual skill being a big part of this map. Very, very One huge. player can win it all. Card enabled by the rest of his team, too. Very, very good plays from Lavish there with the nade. And the put and the pressure directly onto the onto hobo. Now hobo goes warden. We'll see. If they go to kitchen. I feel like Lavish is one of those players where once he gets going, you just can't stop him. He's gonna start rolling here. The pressure is on as the Red Hawks take the first couple of rounds here. Will they take the entire game? Very good small bake rotate. The reinforcement of the wall, making sure they can't shoot through into the prep prep cooler. Holding up in trains is Dickle Pants. Hunting for some drones here. Rotating of the first walls into bakery. One tap. Ro making sure freezer gets hooked off. Alrighty. The attackers move in carefully, making sure they don't get spawn peek. They don't want to have a repeat of last round. They want all five of their men ready and willing. But if spawn peek goes out on the top of the roof, will it be effective, though? They have to take top down here. Otherwise, they'll fall victim to those holes in the floor. Dickle Pants trying to make sure that he knows where they're coming from, but Lavish opening up the hatches. Opening up the windows as well. Shucks wants to make sure he gets the heck out of there before they move in to take that prep cooler and freezer. Hatches are open. And the execution is there anyone draws near. On the second floor? There is not anymore. They rotated back down. Alrighty. You can see as they start blowing open hatches, the execution draws even closer. The drone's going out, making sure everybody's safe. Pressure's on as they start moving down to first floor, sweeping through, making sure that nobody's going to sneak up on them. But train cars is taken as Calicos makes sure that they don't get that for free. Free firing every angle, making sure that he doesn't take anything unnecessarily. But an unnecessary swing will cost him his life. Can see that is the ego the... come out. That's the last room around the second floor. Yep, it's now oh. theirs. Ooh, gonna go for the hatches are gonna get open here. Shield gun. Pixels drop once more, but that won't change our minds. We're still here and we're still ready to cast. 
EMP's coming out as they open up a hole directly into Freezer. It's a small rotate, but they're not burning in time, so they might not get this if they're able to... Yep. Oh. The burn not coming out fast enough as Hobo gets... Cuts off the rotate into Freezer. Shucks takes one tap, though. And Hobo falls to Juki. Kami Puppy taking Juki out of the game. He, does he know the next one's there? I think he hears him. He does. Kami Puppy taking Shicks out. The buck gone as well. It's a 1v1. And the oh. Kami Puppy secures Kami. it for the game. Oh, wow. What did you see there? I saw Kami stepping up. Stepping up and going crazy. And it was needed. Incredible plays there from Kami Puppy. Taking the top leaderboard for his team. Castle, a very strong player. But he goes instead for the Valkyrie. Solo's coming out as well. We might see Hobo take a good couple kills here. If he can play Solo's right, Solo's is a couple free kills. I Definitely on the Ayana. It's very risky to go Ayana while there's Solo's on the map. Habana switching for the Grim. I don't think they're going to go Grim. I don't think that I don't think that's real. They might be messing around a little bit here. Very interesting win here from Sui. Calling out that he wants the shield placement. Jaegers are going down. And Calico is coming with the pixel shield here. You can see that they didn't do that the first round, and they're definitely gonna set it up right in the next round. They're not letting this go for free. Not all the reinforcements going down. Spawn peak? Definitely trying to get the kill here, but they're rotating around the wrong side. Hobo not getting the kill that he wants. Nickel Pants trying to figure out where he wants to put the last Jaeger. This they did stick to Grim. They did. It'll be interesting to see how Grim plays here. Opening up the window, setting up the Claymore so they can't jump out. Joan goes in. Will they see him? Top red wall is opened. Grim on the windows. Will he drop? The he drop goes down. It's a goo mine. The defenders will have the audio from that. It's going to be very interesting to see how these guys react to that audio. Because they know Those where Jaeger they are know. now. They know that the grenades are coming. Nade goes in. Does not get the kill. But does get some damage onto Juki. Sledge coming in. Trying to take the angle. He knows the bees are there. So how he goes, goes, there goes down. White is secure as Sui takes the kills. Dickle Pants coming out here with... A little bit of a clutch. They try and take bathroom. Two on hatch, one on piano. Music still going. The drone goes down. Going out through white. Hobo trying to make sure red stays secure. As a drop goes down on red, they've taken the top of New Balk. Trying to push down right. Shucks taking some damage. Trying to figure out where, where in fact, that noise is coming from. And he gets a kill. Dickle Pants gets a kill from White. Not allowing his teammate to get swung. Top red. Ooh, Firestorm taking on two kills. Brings it to a 3v2. It quickly goes down to a 3v1 as his teammate goes down. And the swing from Kami Puppy will secure the round. Grim, Grim is a, to me, is a very situational op. He did get a lot more powerful as that extended barrel buff came out, but is he powerful enough to justify picking over different operators? I don't think so. That might have been a misplay on their part. As Juki then switched to Thatcher instead, 
opting out for a better operator. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Neck and neck game right now. Alrighty. Oh, Shuck's trying to get away with his drone, but is he going to be capable of doing that? Oh, Hobo has an unfortunate miss directly onto a free drone at his feet. That come, you might think that's just like, oh, that may be a little bit disappointing. Those can come into play directly, as information is the key to victory in some of these games, especially on sites like this. The top-down plays need to be taken with as much information as they can and denying that information is the key to victory for the defenders. Looking at that spawn peak, making sure they're not going to tear down any of those barriers and try and peek them. They're looking to break them open and try and take piano as the hatches get open and people move in to execute. There is one in piano though. Will they notice the swing? As he rotates Tommy out. gets away. Struggling a little bit to shoot those. To shoot the fuse charges. Hobo's weak. Incredibly. Who in fact shot Hobo? This hobo's over near white. Because the drop goes. Drop goes, drop goes down on red. Hard breach charge in the walls. They open up directly into piano. They know now that Kami Puppy's in Cigar and he Kami? takes a kill even. It's but refragged. The, the frag does come out on Kami Puppy, securing Cigar. However, we do have a very interesting play from Tickle Pants here as he tries to move in. Switching just off before the kill gets taken. One tap goes down. Dickle Pants goes down, and now it's a 2v4. Multiple angles being taken as hatches start to get open. The work top down goes through. Flash Storm, the fuse, trying to take some space here. There's a gunfight between Hobo and the Buck goes out. Now it's a 2v3, trying to take it to a tie. Ooh, interesting fight here is. He watches through heaven, making sure nobody swings down on him again. Another cluster charge going out. Does not connect with anyone. Maybe a bit, a bit of miscommunication between the sludge and the fuse here as the sludge breaks open floor space that the fuse desperately needs in order to make his plays. They're still upstairs, desperately trying to fight for an angle that they can drop down on. But Hobo's got Nubalk and Heaven on lock. Oop, but the kill goes out and Red Hogs take it. Hold on one second for me. Did I see that right? Excuse me for one second. What? Hold on. They're named Red Hogs. H-A-W-G-S. And the stream graphics is Red Hawks. What is going on? A little bit of a funny, goofy moment there. Alrighty. Red Hawks. Renamed to Red Hogs for the game. I only Sh caught that just now. Swapping out to go like for the Habana. Since they are on the downstairs site in kitchen. They do I need believe that freezer space. I believe we're going to see another freezer take top down, obviously. It's very interesting to see no flank watch, but they do have Jackal. They have Jackal, they have Buck, Thatcher, Bana. Attackers are secured. The plays going through the minds of the attackers is trying, they're trying to figure out where exactly they're going to take from. Well, we're moving in towards Small Bake, one into Big Bakery, and a couple towards Freezer. 
Will they take second floor? Or will they take horizontal? Got a couple seconds here before we find out. If they move to take on to the second floor. Third floor goes out. I think they broken open. As you move into the 230 mark. Do they know about the third floor presence? Yes, they, they do. do as Jackal comes out, finds the shield, and finds the ping, but hits multiple concussion devices. He doesn't know where they are as Lavish goes down. One tap taking the kill. Interesting to see that interaction between... Oh, Kago's Moo not letting his teammate go down without a fight. Red Hawks desperate to take the victory here. They do not want to go into the third map. And they deserve to take this second map from them. Fuck, Solo pushing down white. Very, very ballsy play there. He is confident that this map is open for him to take. I wonder if they'd thrown that out beforehand. Kijanesh was not reinforced. Maybe a bit of a misplay from them. Maybe they're trying to bait them down into Freezer. Who knows? Zero second floor presence. Definitely not the play here as Buck takes the entirety of the second floor, taking the entirety of Kitchen. His presence will be felt here. There's not a spot in the site that you can escape him. Will he see Hobo? On the smoke, or will he let him go away free? They know somebody's on Christmas. They're checking their angles, making sure they're not getting away. And it goes down Christmas here. Go down. But TTV secures the kill. Coleco's going down. So now three v three. All players up. The cow goes move with a little bit of health missing, but nothing significant. The bomb is going out. The thatch going down, and the wall getting open. They don't wait to burn it this time as it is essential for the, them to get it open right away. There they go. A headshot Ooh. from Dickel Pants on a Juki. Takes this game to a 3v2 in favor of Sui. Buck goes down. Flashstorm, it's all up to you. Come on, Flashstorm. Take the headshots, you see him? Oh, did not react in time. It. Ooh, boy. This is uh, it's getting close. It is definitely not what we expected to see here. As Cafe Dostoevsky comes up to an even three v three between the game between the players. How tight can this game get? I'm on the edge of my seat half the time. I'm kind of hoping to see a map three. I'm I'm almost expecting a map three at this point. They're really coming out with clean strategies here. And I'm not seeing that clean of coordination from from Red Hawks here. So we move into the defending round for them. We did see a change around from the, sa the same way as they moved into the defense last map. They could figure out to the same way this time around as well. The Surya Gate going on the door, making sure nobody can rotate in unexpectedly. However, that is in between sites. So it's Pixel mostly shoot. going to be used from grenades. Two Jaegers on the wall, not necessarily protecting the bar the barrier the best. So one goes down behind couch. Three Jaegers on there. They do not want it going down. Spawn peak here. Ballsy spawn peak from the Cowgoes Moo. He's expecting those kills. He wants them. He needs them. And he'll get them. But not today. The attacker is now worried that he is still there. They will try to clear. They're taking their sweet time, though. They're not... They're very wary of him. They know who he is, and they know he's not to be trifled with as they move in to try and take the freezer door. Interesting here, but Red Hawks are still trying to set up sight. Ooh, ballsy play there from Kalikos. C4 goes out. C4. Ooh, but he manages to live through it. He even walked into it a little bit. I don't know if I, if I were if I were Red Hawks, I'd be a little bit I'd be a little bit miffed that that missed. Trying to bait out, out 
some bullets here with the drone. A little bit risky. This run out might be able to kill him here. Because he is still repelled, and you can see him. But they are watching that door. They're not letting it, they're not letting their teammate go down. IQ from Hobo. Just sitting watching the door, making sure that nobody gets killed. One tap here. But the wall will get opened. And Kalibos Zero with a kill. And kill. They're watching the windows, watching the doors, making sure that they have a free reign here. Not letting anybody jump out. They're wary of it, and they don't have any claymores here to secure it. One tap, drones down. Knows that the skylight is not clear. Very little presence from heaven, but an easy swing could kill somebody if they dropped Nubalk. Bullets going down. Everybody's waiting for somebody else to make a move. A little Mexican standoff goes down as Calicos take Calicos dies. Lavish taking the kill here. People are getting on cams. People are trying to recount, trying to get information, making sure these 45 seconds are the most important of the game. So we see these tie rounds that decide the rest of the game. As Sui drops down, do they know that it's. Do they know if the Ayana is real or not? Frags go out. Twenty seconds left. No one in the building yet. Oh, they are in CS. Hobo, taking a kill. We have Ace watching Nubalk from heaven. Warning shots go out, and it seems like these last five seconds can make or break the game. But they can't take the kill. But the attackers do win as Sui takes the round. Very, very, very close round there unnecessarily close as they move into the last 45 seconds and they're not even in the building. I feel like yeah. SIUE just needs to be more confident on their uh, on their attacks. I feel like the playing to the time might be their downfall as they wait a little bit too long to take sight. But they are over top of Red Hawks right now. Will Red Hawks be able to come back and actually take this map? That is the question right now. It almost feels a little bit like they're fooling around a little bit. But we can tell that they're taking this seriously. They start to make sure their site setup goes right this time, and they're not going into the action phase without their site secure. Mute playing Red and Hawks, coat check. Red Hawks bringing a Waldenau, unlike SIUE. Making sure that freezer stays closed. The bandit here maybe might take the round. Hobo trying to clear out this debris so he can get a C4 over me. Well, sorry, not Hobo. I'm looking at the wrong person. One tap coming here with the Ayana. Hobo with the sledge. Kalikos to the zero, Kami Puppy with the ace, and Dickle Pants with the jackal. Seen a lot more of jackal as other operators start to get banned a little bit more. Do you think we're going to see him more in competitive or no? I feel like we will. Jackal is a very strong operator because he can see where different operators are throughout the map. Um, the only thing is that jackal can be countered by one op, which means he's stronger. Um, because people don't really run Cav in competitive. Of course. But other than that, Jackal is a very, very strong operator. Of course, there are other, there are other roamers in which Jackal, Jackal can counter, but we really see a lot more of him as maybe this new operator coming out starts to get banned a little bit more. Sui trying to collect some information on where the enemy team is and who they might be facing off against as they try and come and take top four. Drops go down, Jekyll's now in the top of red, Cigar is now taken, and they're double swinging almost everything. Hopefully both of their heads don't get taken off at once here. As the Calgo's Moo takes some damage on, from Dickle Pants, and Dickle Pants barely manages to stay alive, but they're about equal. Dickle Pants eagerly wanting to take that kill.
sledges go down. Site becomes open. They're trying to clear out second floor to make sure that they got everything secure. Take some electrification damage. Letting the enemy team know he's there. Taking some ego peeks here without droning. They know the bulletproof camera is there, and they know Kochek is occupied. But Dickel Pants goes down. Along with Tommy Puppy. Down. Second floor is move. not there. The Calgo's move falls to Hobo. Lavish taking the Hobo kill. 2v4. Red Hawks trying to take back around. As Juki manages to secure a shotgun kill directly onto Kalikos. There's now one tap. And one tap really itching for a kill here, but gets Ooh. taken out directly by Juki. Big pick. I didn't even see him peek on my screen. Oh, I did. I saw him. That man's quick with it. Maybe hidden a little bit by the sight. We got Hobo with Sledge. Shocks with Aruni. Juki with Mute. Jaeger goes to Cal. And flash them with lesion. That lesion, letting the enemy team know that, the, letting the friendly team know that they're there. More often than not, they're really hard to see. They are invisible. Kaliko's coming out here with a fuse, trying to take top down, getting those lucky kills with the fuse charges. But it's four v four, three rounds, and secure the victory for either team. This comes down to a tight game, but we've seen this before. We've bet, we've lived this reality one last time. Will it repeat? Will history complete its circle? They're fighting for space on the top of Pixel. <laughs> Ooh, I, I like seeing this right here. They do not want to let this wall go for free. Head holes on bathroom. And a rotate in the top of heaven will allow them to make sure to keep pressure on every portion of the upstairs floor. Trying to take out some aggression on the ice cream truck there. Fuse, not really sure what he's doing. I think they're expecting a spawn peek here, but there isn't one. Now, there is one, actually, if you look directly up on the piano. Ooh. They are taking a spawn peek there. But it won't catch anybody. Taking down the shield and re-putting it back up to make sure it's in the right place. Red Hatch goes out. And the cow goes Mew. Go does get his cue. He patiently waits for somebody to make a misplay. Hobo. Droning out. Nobody's watching him. A run out could get him here. Top of the wall goes out. The feet holes on that wall could secure them a couple good kills here. If the timing is right and the cow goes moo, knows how to play it. You got a couple people playing that wall and they don't see the feet holes. Will it come down to this kill? But... For those listening at home, it looks as if one of my co-casters actually left the call. That is concerning. I'm now all by myself. Kind of peaceful if you think about it. However, as we get back into the game, we can see Kaliko's here, desperate for a peek onto somebody. One tap, trying to secure some more information again for his team. He's droned out that place a couple times. And Hobo, looking directly up in through these feet holes, trying to secure a kill. He will find it on Shucks! He moves out on into pillars. And we can see them slowly begin to take sight away from Red Hogs. As it becomes a 4v3, now a 4v2, as TTV Kami Puppy secures a kill. And another one directly into Lavish. Last one is Flash Storm. Will he be able to make a play here? Kalikos with the Diffuser. They're all watching him. His teammates not collecting much information. The Diffuser is now capped. But does he know his teammates right there? 
Does he? Can he secure the kill? No. Hobo secures it as a big kill on a flash jump. It gets them the round. Now goes to 5v4. As the round tightens ever closer to a tie. All right. We're going to take a quick time out here as we're trying to get our caster back in the call. Do you want me to drag him in? I can't do it. Ready. Sorry about that, folks. We have some few technical difficulties, but we will catch back into the game here. 13 seconds of clock as they try and start back up. Both teams strategizing for themselves. Take it back into the game here. Castle, Mozzie, Frost, Wamai, and Bandit will be the defense operators. As we see some last second switches between the teams. Attackers Very interesting plays are up for debate here is whether or not Red Hawks will take this victory. It's an unexpected lead comes here from Sui. Rotate goes on to the closet. Trying to extend out into that hallway, making sure that they cannot take that for free. The create a rotate here. I've not seen this. I've not seen a play like this before, but I've seen something similar. I've seen head holes on that one, not a rotate. The cow goes moo, making sure that his mines are all placed and his beepers are all in the right spot. Is he doesn't want anybody to get into red without him knowing. Interesting frost play here. Frost math's not going down. Smart play is they don't want the drones to spot them. But he seems a little bit lost as to where he wants to put them. Hobo coming over here with a sledge. Very consistent operator here from Hobo. Juki with the Juki with the castle, making sure that nobody can get in for free. They have to use some of their time, which is the most important resource in the game. Do not underestimate Castle. He's a time-wasting operator, but an operator that is incredibly useful nevertheless. If it takes you 15 seconds to get into that into that room, trying to break a castle barricade, that is 15 seconds well spent from picking that operator. Waiting for the bait out in C4, but it doesn't go down. Sludge opens up the hatch, and the drone goes down as information gets collected. Two minutes on the clock. Nobody's in sight yet. Drones are going down. Utility's trying to get off the wall. Reactor drone gets the shield. But it does get taken off as a Ma is a Mozzie take that? I think yep. a Mozzie drone took that off. Yep. Nades are getting collected here. As the cow goes moo, tries to take a kill. He gets it down, but he doesn't know. Retro drone getting the shield here. Mozzie's not there to protect it. Juki takes damage. And Kami's still getting shot at. The revive. Oh, Juki's, the Kami Puppy's going to revive here. Oh, oh, but Lavish with the excellent C4. Chef's Kiss. Perfect. The They're rotating up, taking the top of white. Does the cow goes Moon no. Sorry, that was my mistake. They're not taking oh, top of white. They're barely misses him. Does get some shots off onto him and down. Big him. down from Calicos. Does he know? Oh, they're rotating in to take it. He's taking white. He knows both of them are there now. Will he be able to take this swing? It's a very important one to take, and he doesn't have any grenades left to try and secure it. So he just has to take the gunfights. But the 2v5, and Red Hogs are in the lead, and they take it down to a 1v4. Triple kill from Lavish here. Come on, Lavish, take a quad. As Dicklepants tries to push him. Mozzie's still on white. 
Kill coming out from Lavish as he gets a 4k. Excellent plays from Lavish here on this map. Excellent, excellent. As it goes to 5v5, we are probably going to see an overtime here. We do see the, the top frag rolls being switched off to other people now. Hobo's still taking top frag, and let's take a look at Lavish's top frag here, isn't there? Lavish is oh. top frag with 16 and 5. Ooh, Hobo's still holding on to the top frag spot, though. Maybe he can take it back. Who knows? Very even roster from from Sui, while the Red Hogs have been hard enabling one player and letting them take those very important kills and very important plays. Can Red Hogs kill it? Can Red Hogs? Hogs? Hogs. Can Red Hogs actually secure the victory here with those hero plays? Reinforcing off small big. Making sure they can't get in for free. Castle, a very important operator here. Cutting off key rotates, cutting off key entrances. Nothing is for free in this game. And they're making sure of it. Same spawn, same op from Hobo. As they finish setting up sight a little bit late into the round. No spawn peaks that I can see. I Remind believe me. everyone... Oh. Keep going, keep going. I believe everyone is on the first floor. I don't really see any roamers as of right now. Nope. No roam presence. But the notion that somebody might be there is going to eat up some time from from uh, Sui. Will be enough to take the round and the victory. Who knows? It's been a very even game. All trying to play a little bit closer to sight. The jackal not being as important as last time. Firing off some bullets out of boredom, possibly. Trying to get the drones. They slowly inch their way down to second floor. Will they be able to take it, though? Calico's moving into the bottom of freezer. Seeing if he can take that wall. Can't get in the stealthy way, so he breaks up in the barricade anyway. The camera does spot him as he forgets to shoot it out right before he enters. Tommy Puppy doesn't see anybody. Almost flicks onto his teammate's head as he identifies the Jaeger down in Small Bank. Macau goes Moo, not picking Jaeger this time, instead picking the smoke. His hobo starts breaking open the floor, and that is critical to this site. I can't believe they let them get away with that for free. Very Good tough night. not seeing Rome Presence on this site. They only have one C4, so if they're looking to play that, they're a little bit foolish thinking that they would let that go for free. The Jackal starts spotting people from down below, but the Sledge can't necessarily find a ping on them. They do get the Mute Jammers. Will they be able to get the Mute Jammers off the wall, though? Risky plays here from Calico, says he Starts camming out in one of the, I think, weirdest spots possible. And he gets shot and downed from the, from the mute? Is that the mute? Oh. Uh, no, they don't have nope. a mute. Sorry. Smoke. Smoke. Smoke playing close, playing hard, and playing dangerous. Flash, Flash Storm, Storm gets a kill pickle pick. pants. That is the jackal down. Very important kill. Oh, but they got sight now. This could be a win. From Sui, this is a 3v1. One tap has the diffuser, but he's in the smoke. And he's not able to actually secure the kill, but there's a team kill. And that is a defender win. As they kill the plant. Wow. A throw from Sui could cost them the game here as they go into the round round point, match point, sorry, for Red Hawks. What a way to throw a win. That team kill was very, very interesting, to say the least. What were you thinking? Flicking onto your teammate.
audacious pl- claims here coming from t- from Kami Puppy. Bro, I gotta say, if you're killing your teammate right as they're planting, you're doing it wrong. I can understand maybe if your teammate sneaks up on you, breaks something behind you, you flick onto him, and maybe you shoot him up a little bit. But headshotting them, killing them as they're planting, as they're sitting in the same spot, even as they're getting swung, not in the play, not in the play. This round is make or break for, for Sui. Alrighty. Let's see what happens here. This could be a throwaway win for the Red Hogs. And it is, in fact, Red Hogs to get informed. Not Red Hawks, which is a little bit weird since their avatar is red and a hawk. Alrighty. Possibly the final round. Nobody wants to take anything unnecessarily here. Nobody wants to do anything too fast or too slow it has to be just right the Goldilocks zone of siege Dickle Pants waiting for the waiting for the hatches to get open they're baiting out the C4 again very smart plays smart and calculated the breach goes down the wall they do get it open Kago's Moot does play the Azami here. Are they playing Pixel? Where are they? The Kago's that, Moot messing around. That angle that Jaeger had onto that new hatch is a very one-sided angle, I would say. Lavish but throwing away an unnecessarily kill here to Hobo. Did not need to be swinging that. Maybe trying to catch him off guard as he thinks that this round's going to go to them, but it's too audacious for this late in the game and too close of a game as well. Calico's taking some damage through the barrier. That's not enough to kill as Shuts does down. find the kill. The Ayana drone getting killed out. And another kill on one tap. Shucks holding it down for his team as Red Hogs find 3v4 with Lavish being their one man down as they do take a risky peek here under the skylight. Flashstorm eagerly awaiting, but he's going to get needed from below. Go. Not taking any damage, though. The Kami Puppy instead taking the damage for him. Not what you want to see there from your teammate. Ooh, here we go. Hobo, can you do something? Can you make a play to save your team? It's this late in the game. Ooh, Kami Puppy goes Kami. down. It's now a 2v4. This round is looking like it might be the victory. Oh, Hobo, you have 10 seconds left. What will you do? Get a kill on Firestorm. Will it be enough to do anything? No, Shuck secures the round. That is a good game from both teams. Great show from both of them. Thank you both very much. Jaeger, the top player from both of them. Look at him. Lavish. Playing with the nade. And there it goes. The victory. And the MVP going to Lavish. Very, very interesting show from both of them here. The top runner for the, for the entire the entire Midwest 6 series. Was in second place. Now it's on the top. Honestly, great game. Very close. I was expecting a sweep, but it turned out to uh, be really, really interesting. I was... I'm going to say I'm surprised. SIUE, I didn't expect them to be on top of their game, but they were, but unfortunately fell short of the victory. It was... I'm wondering to myself right now whether or not it's one of those games that just, you know, it's one of those teams that just has an equal response 
as they're given pressure, but just can't pull it through for the victory. Is this what we're going to see from SUIE White for the rest of the entire season? Or are we going to have something a little bit more interesting happen as we go into the next into the next round? I feel the like they're gonna take they're gonna take this game, VOD review it, look at their mistakes, and then come back even stronger. That's they what I think they're gonna do. Definitely learning as Hobo comes and takes the MVP both rounds. So very much the MVP player from both of them. But it was interesting to see Lavish take the MVP spot from uh, the Cowgoes Moo. He is very good at the game, and we can see some excellent skill there from him. But Lavish just came through with a lot of great hero plays, securing a lot of rounds. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if they would have been able to do it without him. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next time. I need a scarecrow after what you did Cause all of the birds know that I'm almost dead I'm barely breathing I'm barely awake You left me in pieces There's no more to break Century. Don't wake me up Cause you're just a ghost inside my head You're just a ghost, you're never there You're just a memory on my lips Cause you're just a ghost I Ghost inside my head.